So the barn has uh, just a little bit of deferred maintenance. Uh, not too bad, but a couple things. Um, it's still early in the season. Hasn't even really hit springtime yet. And I really want to get our thermostatic fan fixed. All right, first up, I want to power it up. That's a light, that's a light. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a switch. So I'm going to turn it on just so that uh, we can see if it's getting any juice. All right, let's go over here and look at the fan. Uh, this is the lead coming in and it's got juice, nice. And the tricky thing right now is that even if I could set it all the way down to 60 degrees, it's not gonna kick on just because it's so dang cold. So, so all I'm doing is just disconnecting the hot leads and I'll wire them together and see if I can get the fan to go. Cool, so I bypassed the thermostat up here. Alright, this is the moment of truth. Alright, now I did not hear the fan kick on. So, it's not the thermostat that's the problem. We should now have juice here. Yep, yeah, and juice here. Yeah, so the only thing left would be Oh, I can hear it. Okay, you hear that? It's struggling. You know, it's like that moment in a project where you kind of wish the fan just would have turned on and it was all better. But then you also realize that it's not really a project until you have to rip the fan apart. So, I gotta rip the fan apart. See, I was hoping that the blade was seized, but uh, no, no, it's not. All right, so now the fan is wired up to this guy, which I can plug in and it's switched. Whoa. All right, so that's the deal. When it's on, it's trying. I'm just not getting anything to actually spin. All right, here's what I did with this dude is I um, uh, basically cut the switch out of it and just wired it up on high speed. Uh, I was kind of worried the switch was maybe part of this. This is the switch. It just seems so cheap. Anyway, I cut that thing out, hardwired it so there's no switch. So then I just did a lot of lubrication, lubing up these bearings, and the thing is moving really smooth now. I'm gonna give it a little jump start. See, it's turning like the slightest bit. There we go. So basically that's my problem is that like it'll it'll run. Like that's running pretty good right there. But just getting it started is not exactly happening. Alright, so no jump start. And it just struggles. And then it gets going. I think the capacitor might be toast. Uh, reading on the internets, it seemed like the internets thought that the capacitor starts it out in like a, the equivalent of slow gear and then speeds it up once it gets cranking. So I guess I'll pull the capacitor and see if I can find a better one. All right, here's the capacitor. Anyway, I'm gonna look on the interwebs and see if I can find any one of these.
All right, that's like way better. Uh, out of the way. And if you haven't used these uh, steel barrels for feed storage, I think they're pretty sweet. Previously, I've dumped all the feed in there and then scooped it out with the scooper, but I kind of like leaving it in the sacks in case you end up with maggots or whatever. At least it's kind of isolated and you don't lose your whole uh, feed bin. Anyway, two of those guys, one's feed, one's scratch grains, and that's pretty much dialed in. And then up here is just uh, cracked corn that I use to, you know, scatter for the birds. All right, so the uh, barn cat station thingy bobber is kind of sorted just to give it a little more stability. Um, it's on one leg here and then attached on some two by sixes underneath. So solid enough for cat stuff. This is their food. This is just one of those big old incandescent mercury bulbs. And uh, this fitting is a, God, I wanna say like E11, E13. It's one of the big boys, but I think I've got a replacement. All right, deep storage for light bulbs is that it. That one? Oh, that could be it. What do you want? Corn bulb. All right, check this thing out. Uh, someone sent me this as like a sample to review like years ago, like two or three years ago. Um, it's like a massive, massive LED corn bulb. It does. It's got the big fitting. I've just got an adapter on it. Yeah, so it's got the big old dude. Um, last time I put this in, it did throw a fuse. It also has no cover on it. Some of these have a plastic cover, but I'm just gonna use it until it's toast. All right, here's the size comparison with the uh, mercury incandescent bulb and the corn bulb. It's definitely gonna hang down a little bit. And that thing's just got so many LEDs. Anyway, I'll plug it in and see how it is tonight. All right, so uh, my theory has been that this guy might be toasted, and I found one that I, it's kind of similar on the interwebs. 350 volts, that's the same. Plus or minus 5%, that's good, but 25, uh, that's different. This guy's six. 50, 60 hertz, 50, 60 hertz. So there are some striking similarities between these two. Uh, obvious difference that this is big and square That's so good. That is so good. Oh, all right. That's awesome. That's it, man. That thing cranks. All right. So with this gizmo working, uh, and this guy clearly could put, uh, all I have to do is put this up for sale on eBay, like new, and then figure out a way to house this guy on the side of the fan motor. Emergency 
and for areas of medicine that maybe you can't do this job. Specifically on the front lines of this, on uh, the hospitals around the state don't have that. I'm just curious. This is like the cat palace right here. This is where they chill during the day. At night, kill mice. During the day, chill out. Okay, this is the test. I haven't run the fan with the blade on, so we'll see how it goes. All right, I've got the uh, thermostat wired up, and the range is actually 60 degrees to 120, and I think it's 65 in here. It's kind of a warm day. So I'm gonna pop it and see if we can get the fan to roll. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Cool. And then I'm just going to set it at about a hundred or 110, about a hundred. Let's set it about a hundred for the summer. All right. Thanks for checking out that uh, fan project. I was kind of glad how it turned out. I also did a few other things around the barn, but you know, I was just looking at the roof out there and there's so much more work to do on this barn. So uh, more projects ahead. Thanks for checking it out and I'll see you in the next project.